I want to show you one more tool. And I thought we needed a little serendipity in this workshop. So it's a lip buzz. And this student that I told you about in California who has the babies that he's learning, he's six months old now, seven months old, and he's learning how to blow raspberries. And I didn't get a chance to ask her to make a film of that, but I'm going to because I have a feeling he blowing a raspberry in the way I'm going to show you. It is one of the best exercises you can do. Well, remember my picture of the psoas and diaphragm, to stimulate this internal connection, the psoas to diaphragm. And remember, when I talk about the psoas to diaphragm, it also communicates throughout all the muscles of your body, all the muscles involved in communication, all the muscles involved in respiration. So it's simply... Note that I am not doing. I am engaging a motor here. Now, this is a life's journey. This is the rest of your lives. You will be working with uncovering this desire to express, this inner motor that so engages the diaphragm that babies seem to have no problem doing. My hands keep that motor going. It's never-ending flow. It doesn't stop. There is something, and I keep renewing it. That's our responsibility. That's our hard work. And remember, we say responsibility, but the response muscles of the body are those psoas muscles that go inner thigh, cross over the hip joints, go all the way up to the diaphragm. When I use it with voice, well, again, I'm invigorating the diaphragm, I'm building strength in the diaphragm. If you have any vocal fatigue, any stress in your voice, this is a vocal massage. And notice that it's not so you can't cheat when you do this because you could cheat and you could try to do it from the throat, but it's not. It's everything is working from that place. <laughs> 